Today I'm going to show you how to make a really simple adjustable power supply using the LM317. You'll see as I turn this pot here the voltage rises and then if I turn it the other way it decreases. So let's have a look at how we make this. All you need is three components. The LM317, a 10k pot and a 180 ohm resistor although I am using a 1k resistor because that's all I had available. So let's have a look at the LM317. The rightmost pin is our input, the middle pin is our output and the leftmost pin is our adjustment pin. So let's place that in the breadboard. Next we want to take our resistor and place it between the adjustment pin which is the one on the left and the middle pin which is the output pin. So let's do that. So the leftmost pin, oops, and then the middle pin. There we go. Next we're going to place our pot on the breadboard. Now we'll take a jumper cable and take it from our middle pin of the pot to the adjustment pin which is the very left pin of the LM317. And there you go, that's it. We're ready to apply power. So let's add a jumper for ground. We'll go to the rightmost pin of the pot. There you go. And we'll add a jumper for the input of the LM317 on the rightmost pin of the LM317. So we're ready to connect our power. Now the maximum input voltage for the LM317 is 40 volts. Um, and you have a dropout voltage, which means that if you put in 40 volts, the maximum you can get out is around 38 or 39 volts. Um, now, I have a 12 volt battery, so that's what I'm going to be using. So we attach our positive, and then attach our negative, and I'll turn on my multimeter. I've already got it hooked up to the ground, and if I attach it here to this pin, which is the output pin, the middle pin, you'll see that it's currently outputting, sorry let me move my multimeter you see it's outputting 7.6 volts if we adjust the pot to the left you see it decreases for around 4 volts, if I go all the way to the bottom 1.2 volts, if I go all the way to the top 11.95 volts now this battery is charged around 13 volts and we're able to get out 11.95 and that's because of the dropout voltage I explained and that's it, that's as simple as it gets so let's bring it down slowly let's say we wanted to power a USB device you can bring it down to oops there you go 5 volts, perfect but that's just a breadboard, let's make something a little bit more permanent so I took the breadboard circuit and I made a little PCB for it it's exactly the same circuit except I've got a um, little ceramic capacitor here 0.1 microfarad and which is on the input and on the output I've got a 10 microfarad capacitor there and you'll see that we're reading um, let me just adjust the camera uh, you're reading 1.263 if I increase the voltage you see I've got a load connected which is a 12 volt fan so if I turn that all the way up you can hear the fan kick in and because we can adjust the voltage we can obviously adjust the speed of the fan you'll see I also added a heat sink to the LM317 just to help dissipate any heat you see the fan is still going let's see it when it cuts off still spinning at 6 volts still going at 5 volts, pretty strong we're still going at 4.4 .4 volts Two point seven, barely, it's kicking in and off and then, yeah, bring it down a little bit more and it's it's gone so there you go
the simplest little circuit you can make for adjustable power supply.